Welcome back. In this random bit, I'm going to show you how you can create an image just using Notepad. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on our desktop, click new, go to text document, call it test.text, double click it and that opens up Notepad. We're going to cut and paste this piece of text, which is P188 and a bunch of ones and zeros carefully look at those ones and zeros you can see a pattern there a square with a little square there if we save that rename the file uh, with a dot p b m extension we can now double click it and it will launch in photoshop and there is our image with the square with another square inside it. So why did that work? Well, if we look back at our file here, um, what we've created is known as a portable bitmap file. And it's basically a text-based file uh, format for um, defining a bitmap image. So the P1 says that this is a type one uh, image. Uh, the eight and eight is the width and the height so we're saying that it's eight pixels wide by eight pixels high and then the ones you'll see there's eight on a line and eight lines the ones and zeros define the um the black for one and zeros for white pixels so it's a pretty straight uh forward file format uh we can actually go um and also do color images rather than just black and white ones. So if we create a new text document, let's just call this test color, open that up and um, use a slightly different piece of text. So uh, what we're saying here is that this is the AP3 type file, which means that it is uh, can have color information. Uh, here we define that it's two pixels wide and two pixels high. And this number here, 255, says that um, we have a color range or a maximum color value of 255. And then the next four lines define four different pixels because we have a two by two image, so four pixels. Uh, and it defines the red, green, and blue values. So we have effectively a black pixel, a red pixel, a blue pixel and a green pixel. So if we um, save this one and rename it with a slightly different extension, uh, extension this time we're gonna call it a PPM extension. Uh, we can now double click on it and it opens in Photoshop and if we zoom in uh, we have our two by two pixel image. So this file format is super easy to create. Um, it's um, useful, for instance, if you're in a platform where you don't have a library to create um, images or you, you've just got a script that you need to run, maybe from a command prompt or something like that. Um, maybe if you needed to, uh, I don't know, quickly generate some debug information out of a game, it's a super, super quick um, format to generate and you don't need any uh, special software to do it you just need to be able to generate a text file um, I have a even slightly crazier example here uh, where I have an Excel spreadsheet that I've turned into a pixel editor um, so with some conditional formatting I can um, do some ones and zeros here so let's make something like this Badly drawn letter A, maybe. Um, and we can then file, save as, save it as a text file. We're just going to call it A.text. Save that onto our desktop. Uh, rename it with a PBM extension. Shut down Excel 
and we can now open it up, zoom in, and there are, is our letter A. All right, well, um, obviously, because it's a well-known file format, you can open it up in other image editors other than Photoshop. You can use things like GIMP and other um, image editors. And if you happen to have access to Linux, there's a bunch of command line tools as well that would convert uh, these file formats into um, other file types for you. All right, well, that's the end of this video. Please give it a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. And uh, join my Patreon if you'd like to support the channel. Thank you for watching. Cheers.